Um, for me, it would be Ricky Ponting or Steve Smith. Um, their leadership that they show during during the games um, is second to none, and, and something that I I like to take into my cricket as well. Um, you know, the Southern leagues were and, and clubs uh, around the area were crying out for a, a league that that would listen to to you know what we needed and what, and what we were after as as associated clubs in that area. So. It was really important for them to step in and, and basically take charge of, of that situation, which they have done really well. Um, the, some of the innovations that you know they've, they've brought into um, the league with some of the rule changes, some of the slight changes in, in how they want to operate it, um, as long as listening to the club's feedback has been really important and, and really good for us. Yeah, so, so last year we obviously made the semi-finals and, um, and we, we fell short. Uh, the goal was to you know, play in Premiership in, uh, in my first year as captain there anyway. Um, this year we're, we'll be looking to do the same, so winning a Premiership is, is our vision for this year. Um, we've recruited really strongly in the off-season, so um, it, it, it's looking uh, you know, re really positive early doors for us. Um, we just need to put some good games together. Uh, batsman this year will be Christian Harris and bowler this year will be Lewis Oliver. Yeah, we've got a young uh, young 16 year old, uh, Harry Scadian. He's uh, very small in stature, but he will be a very, very good player in the years to come for us. Yep, we've got ourselves a, an opening batsman from the UK. Um, his name's Evan Kurtz. Um, we retain Michael Waller who comes back for a second season. Um, we, all, we also get a, uh, a left arm spinner from Tunbridge Wells called Mike Churchill.